she bled so much on the table. It was the only way to save her life. Hello everyone and welcome to yet another segment of Popcorn Crushes on Gusto TV. I am the delectable favor here to bless your screen again. Today's movie, in fact, premiered at Film Africa in November 2020. And it won the Audience Award for the Best Narrative Feature. It is also screened in several countries around the world. Today's movie is none other than For Maria. Hmm. The plot of this movie tells the story of a mother who, after a complicated delivery, suffered from postpartum anxiety and depression. And afterwards, she withdrew from her family and the world around her. Deep, you can imagine. The director of this movie is Damilola Orimogunje. Sorry if I mispronounced his son's name. He's also the writer of the movie alongside Tungwe Femi. The lead actors in this movie are Gabriel Afalayo, who acted as Fola, Meg Otanwa as Demri, and Tinamba as Mama, alongside other actors. The genre of this movie is it's a Nollywood movie. Don't be scared. It's a Nollywood movie depicting social issues in drama. Now let's get right down into our review. The direction of this movie, I mean, kudos to Damilola. I think this is the second movie for Maria. The direction of this movie, I enjoyed the fact that he made us see the whole ordeal of Denry from her own perspective. I mean, we all, I mean, I mean, we all don't know how tight a shoe fits except the person actually wearing the shoe. So I enjoyed the fact that he didn't make it seem like it was from a third person narrative or a second person narrative. He gave us that first person narrative and we're meant to see everything she was going through. We're, you know, we're, meant, we're drawn into the whole picture. Like it was really deep and you could see everything that happened from the beginning to the end. Talking about the cinematography, I mean, the lighting was warm. I mean, this is a movie that captures the whole depression. In the soundtrack, everything was just smooth and solemn, giving that whole melancholia vibes and everything. I mean, this movie was solemn to the core. Like, it wasn't off. I mean, they're trying to pass a message across and there was no distraction. There was no sub story in it. So it was just one message all through the way. Then, we have the costume and the set design. I mean, the color blue was kind of rampant in the movie. When you see the bathroom, I mean, that's where Derry spent most of her time in the movie. Yes, the color blue normally it's a cool color, but for this movie, it depicted the tone of coldness and sadness, depression, you know, that vibe. You see everything matching with the whole theme of the story. Then, you have the house they used for the movie, you know, the house, the costumes of the actors, everything depicted the fact that, okay, these people belong to the middle class society. I mean, normally in Hollywood movies, either they're extremely rich, see all these gold furniture and everything all around in the house, or they're extremely poor, where you have the raggedy houses, like that doesn't look like people living there. So I like the fact that it was middle class. I mean, the wooden doors, the ceiling, everything. I mean, this is relatable because most of us grew up from these houses. So I like the fact and the idea that all of that was put into the movie. When you talk about the acting, I'll start from Tinamba. I mean, kudos to the director. He didn't make it seem like that typical mother-in-law vibe, you know. I mean, she came into the story. Yes, she's Fola's mother, but then she was also a mother to Derry. She came into the movie, you know, for the Omugu and everything. She was caring. But yeah, when she when she realized that Derry refused to carry her child and all of that, she was still concerned. So she played the role of that concerned mother 
you know, normally this is what a mother would do. So it wasn't the stereotypical mother-in-law that is always giving headache and always, you know, shouting. Although it got to Denry at a point and she told Fola that, oh, your mother has to go. And the mother actually did go. And that's where Fola comes in. I mean, the guy was just caring. I, I really, I can imagine what she must have been going through. But it only takes someone that is strong-hearted to actually deal with all of that. I mean... She refused to socialize. She refused to do anything in the house, take care of her child. I mean, a typical Nigerian man would have flipped and reacted in a way, you know, that would like piss off the wife or even more. But yeah, he was caring and he was loving. He sort of understood what his wife was going through. But I would say he didn't actually understand the gravity of the matter. He just saw everything as surface level. Oh, okay, my wife just gave birth. She lost her uterus in the process. Let me just be there for her. But I don't think he actually understood that it has gone as far as just the surface level. This is now depression we are talking about. And that's why in the scene, one particular scene in the movie, when she started telling him that, oh, that removing her uterus is not the problem here. The problem, in fact, is that she gave birth to, she wanted to give birth to four children. She gave birth to one, and now she wants none. Apparently, the child she gave birth to, she said she doesn't realize the child again. The child refused to bond with her. And you see all of that in the movie. And that's where Meg Otanwa, who played as Dame in the movie, comes in. I mean, this is my first time of seeing her on screen. But the way she acted and, you know, delivered the whole role from the beginning to the end. I mean, it was superb. One would think she has actually gone through this type of situation in real life. Like... It was really nice. And I even saw somewhere that she had to put on a certain amount of weight for this movie. Okay. We, okay. Let me just jump on for this movie. I mean, like I said earlier, there's just one message the director hoped to pass across. And that is postpartum anxiety and depression is a thing. And if you know anyone going through this, I mean... Be there for the person. Be more than there for the person, actually. Try to understand where the person is coming from and know how you can help. Because this movie, it ended on a rather dramatic note. I did not see it coming. I did not see it coming at all. So try and speak to the person and get to know what exactly you can do to help the person. Be always there for the person. And young married couples out there, if you're not ready for a baby yet, I mean, you can wait. Because throughout this movie, eh? The baby suffered, the mother suffered. I don't know whose child they used for this movie, but I know that that child in some way could have suffered a bit of traumatic experience. Sha, I hope it doesn't affect the child, Sha. And I hope they paid the parents of the child handsomely. So I would give this movie, after everything I've said, I mean, you all would agree with me that this movie, I did not mention any cons in the movie. So I'll give the movie an eight on the scale of one to 10. Yeah, it was really nice. And you all should go and watch it. Don't be scared. It's not that sad, but it's something you would relate to. I mean, yeah, Nollywood, you guys are doing well. So, till next time, I mean, that's the end of today's review. Till next time, please, if you have any comments, any suggestion, you want to fight me for anything that I said. Probably you don't agree with me or something. Please just drop all of that in the comment section. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, grow this channel. Until next time. Bye.